Hey everybody, Anthony 4 before diesel. I'm just going to quickly run run you through what we do with old injectors that could help you. So whether you get the injector kit off, off rewind, start again, whether you get the injector kit from us or whether you get it wherever you want to get your injectors from, whatever you do, this might help you. So I do recommend stripping your old injectors. Um, so if you get them from us, you can do this yourself or you can uh, just send them back because they've got to be sent back to us anyway. Um, the old injectors, we do do the free contamination check if you have not. So if you've done it, just put a note saying, hey, I, I love playing with things and I wanted to pull them apart and, you know, because I got curious. So that's what I did. Or you might round some of the nuts off. I'm going to give you some information to try, ho hopefully try and avoid that too, um, pulling them apart and show you some of the components and what you're looking for. Because if you've got a problem with your vehicle, and you work out that it probably needs injectors, whether it's because they're old and flogged like these are nearly 20 years old. These injectors right here were, uh, they're from manufactured in early 2006. So they're very old injectors. We've, in our injector information playlist, we've been through a lot of this before with the components and the DLC coding and not and all that sort of thing. So what I'll just bring those over to remind myself um, to talk to you about those a little bit as well, a bit of education for you. So if you didn't get injectors from us, Say you're online, you know, you've got problems with your cars, you're searching around, whatever Facebook groups here, there, or whatever the case may be, and you've worked out, and these injectors, they could be old flogged injectors, they could have a problem, whatever the case may be, I don't know, and you've replaced the injectors. I suppose the last thing, if you did replace your injectors, you probably spent a lot of money, thousands of dollars, one way or the other, and the last thing you want is to ruin those new injectors. So what we've got here is a set that we've just stripped down, and... There is contamination, okay? So there is contamination. So the easiest way to do that is you use something, a single hex. We've got it on about a, what's this? How long is this bar? I don't know, but it's a, that's the socket that we use, right? Let's have a look what it is. It's a King Chrome 14 mil, right? It's a deep reach, so, because the nozzle, it's got to go, there's one still on there, right? So basically that's going over what I call the cap nut over there. It's on a big bar, it's about that long. Okay, I don't know what size that is, does it say? Anyway, nice long one. It's probably about seven, 800 long. And put this in the vise, right? Just clamp that bit there if you like and have the cap nut clear of the, so that you can crack it loose. You're gonna to need to make sure you're pushing in to hold it all the way on because they can be really tight sometimes. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes they are really tight. One of these, this one was really tight. That's why it's not off. Um, and they're easy to round off if you're sort of doing it in a rush like we do. The good news is it doesn't really matter if you can't get it off because then just open another one. And when we open one and we find contamination, then we open the rest as well, usually, so that we can have a look. So let's just have a look at that contamination. Let's give it a wipe. These are your standard common rail injector command pistons. Different people call them different things probably just to make things confusing but okay so see that area there those bottom two uh, I was going to say the bottom two that's what it should look like minus those dots there so pretty much that's what it should look like that's contamination but I'll just spin them all for you so you can see see you got it up the top here right so something's been in there look this could be oh, look I don't know look it's not a manufacturing fault because it wouldn't be on all of them but this looks a bit different to the normal contamination let me try and find another one that you know, what you might see if you do strip them down. Oh, that one's just got a bit of oil on it. Didn't pick up the right one. I mean, I'm, I just totally get distracted by I'm just looking at this. Look at the wear on that thing. I mean, have a look at that. Look at the wear and tear. You can see the surface up here I'm talking about, right? I'm just totally distracted by the amount of wear on this old injector. You know, we're talking microns of clearance in these injectors, and that's just massive. You know, we'll put that one back. But, yeah, these are the ones that were contaminated. So... That's what you're looking for. If you've got contamination, what do you do next? Well, you've just put those into your system. So probably part of your injector job could be to check and replace the fuel filter, at least check it. Or if you think you've done it recently and then you find this with your injectors, you might just want to go and check your fuel filter again to make sure it's old. So this could be old contamination in these injectors, or it could be from you know a few weeks ago. I'm tipping it's old because they're very old injectors. So yeah, check, change the fuel filter. Um, and if, of course, if you find water and stuff like that in the fuel filter, um, then go and check your fuel tank. You might want to drain that and clean it. Now, let's just quickly finish off by going through a few of the components. 
Um, my understanding, when they re remanufacture injectors, this is what they do. They take off the, the cap nut here, take the nozzle, the nozzle needle out, okay? Here's your nozzle needle here. This is a really old one. There's no DLC coating on it. Um, and then they replace this, maybe the nozzle and the nozzle needle, put it back together, and then they recode the injectors. So your old, worn, contaminated command pistons like that don't even come out of there, is my understanding. I could be wrong. Maybe they do come out, get clean, and go back in. But either way, the ones, the, the reman ones that have been stripped down that we've seen have got old parts in them. So in my opinion, you shouldn't be able to call that new now. The other, this is a very early nozzle needle, right? So you can see this is one of the wearing parts just here along there. And of course the needle here, if we try and get some focus, that little taper on the needle there, that's another area that gets worn. And later after that, so let's just put that one down there. Let's see if we can find, there's another one like that as well. But I'm um, just gonna try and find one. So this is a bit of an upgrade. So this is the same sort of nozzle needle, I believe there's a few different ones different injectors whatever uh, let me just get it right so it looks right so you can see the dlc code you can see the black coating over the top right i hold that at the same length should probably look the same at this end because i believe it's the same part number but you can see the coating still on these ones it isn't all the way down here on the needle but it's on these parts so that, like i said this is a wearing part here like the way you saw on that um command piston over here like i'd pick any one of them up i mean look at that it's just Phenomenal how much wear is there anyway. That's why you need to change your injectors. It's not just for these So just changing these doesn't solve the problem But point is when you remand injectors if you don't change These command pistons out you could end up with someone's old command piston rather than a nice new DLC coated one that The coating is a lot harder and it's got less friction, right? So these ones here less friction and harder so it lasts a lot longer I personally believe these Probably don't even need to be replaced they're that good that's what i believe um, but that's different injectors so there's a whole heap of different nozzles and injector components but you can see eventually with the later injectors that's why if you've got a 150 prado you're kind of lucky because they do have better injectors they obviously fine tune things i can take a guess at this i'm not the engineer but it's smaller it's thinner it's going to be able to move up and down faster because it's lighter and see the nozzle needle it's a totally different design over here at this end right you can see and if you have a good look at those sometimes you can see the wear on the nozzle needle and typically if somebody says oh you know mine's a bit noisy you know oh, it's terrible whatever and then we strip those down we'll see the wear on these nozzle needles here um and you know sometimes you don't see and sometimes they're worse than others so these certainly wear down so if you've got some full dlc injectors if you know they're full dlc from the manufacturer dates like we know which ones are full dlc then I believe you could actually, if you could get new nozzle needles, you could rebuild and put new nozzle needles and recode them, and it probably would be as good as new. But the problem you got with Reman is these old injectors is what they could be using, and they do, to put some new components, for example, maybe a new nozzle needle in there. So you've solved the problem of that, but not the whole rest. And there's other internal components, the solenoids here, the solenoid valves up this end, and they're all more wear and tear components. We could probably find some, but you can go and have a look at the injector information playlist if you want more info. Just wanted to show you, in case this helps you, if you want to check your own injectors, you can go ahead and do that. But if you if you do that with the ones you're going to send back to us, then just uh, you know pick these up like that and just screw them back on loosely like that. It's not a problem. And no need to package them up and cap them, whatever. They're rubbish, okay? They're rubbish. And, um, yeah, that's what they're going to be. It doesn't really even matter if, uh, for example, if you were to drop them and break them like that. Oops, there it is. You know, because we don't want, we do not support any sort of the remanufacturing stuff, if you know what I mean. So only brand new, genuine, therefore, the old ones are rubbish. Um, so, yeah. If you need any other info, check the information on the injector, please. Subscribe, turn that bell on, more info there. Um, and there's a lot more talk about injectors if you want to learn more about those. It'll be in another video. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Subscribe, turn the bell on, whatever you want to do. Change your fuel filter. If you see contamination, then send the injectors back. And don't forget to send the uh, lend items. If you've got your injector kit from us, send those with the injectors. That's the Crows with the Dow, the Molly Coat, the Ultra Grey, and those red caps. There should be eight of them by then. Thank you very much. Catch you on the next video. Bada bing, bada boom. All right.